I see Chris, Lori, Eric, everybody there. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Snow, you guys got snow? Oh my goodness, man. It, it got kind of chilly last night here. So I guess it's just been windy. Oh, you want some peanuts? I had a succinct suspicion you might want to come up and say hi. Start to show off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. You want to come up here? Come on up. Say hi. He's going to come up for the peanuts, huh? Wanna look up here. Say hi. You smell. You need a bath. You didn't get a bath this weekend. All right. Good boy. I'll clean up your mess, Tuco. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. Oh, Mike, how you doing, buddy? Terry. Man, I thought it was pretty cool, man, this morning when I saw. Because it's like, on, I don't know if you guys, like Thursdays, I usually, I usually get up and um, like around... 10 o'clock or so, I'll start checking, checking the computer to see if um, anybody has uh, put anything cool up. But I saw I saw Horizon putting this up about the Chuck Chuck Reitner uh, Riley Model B. I saw somebody, one of the Horizon flyers, flying this model at uh, one of the Birmingham events last year. I don't know if it was the bam jam or the the bigfoot but i saw one of our favorite uh horizon pilots flying a model just like this i don't know if it was that color or one of the other colors but he was flying it it was big and uh yeah they, they were had they were working on it in the model box too um the um wing supports they were Putting those back on, something happened to him in, in the hauler. But saw it fly. Hey, Tug, how you doing, man? Sorry to see Draco get banged up. But yeah, I just hadn't. I, I, I think I flew Monday. I went Monday and it was windy. And yeah, I flew Monday because I, I think I put up the. Did I post? I don't. I haven't posted the. Uh, I flew. <laughs> I flew the little micro. Mini Draco, Mighty Draco, and some pretty good winds and stuff. And I found out my elevator was off, man. Yep, I got to mechanically adjust my elevator again. Yeah, it's it's pitching it down. So I got to I got to do it. No wait, no wait, it's pitching it up. That's up. Yeah, it's up. I need to bring it down. And it takes all the trim, and it's still not quite right. So I was messing with it. I was like, this is going up, down. It wasn't getting better. And I couldn't hear, I don't know, between the wind and everything, I couldn't hear the little ding when it gets in the center. So I was confused. But, um, yeah, not much going on. I probably should be building. I've been looking at the wing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start building on the clip wing cub again. But I've looked at those wing instructions. I've been looking at them now for months. And I'm as confused as heck, man. The only thing I could do is I'm just going to start gluing wood on it and try to get the wing to match the wing in the plan as much as possible, as close as possible. And um, get it squared and get it mounted on the fuse because I'm, I'm, I'm holding off on the fuse. I'm done on the fuse. I still got a lot of work to do on the fuse. Probably got maybe 80% left. But I'm going to wait till I, I make sure make sure the tail fits. And I'm pretty much sure the tail will fit, but I want to make sure the wings fit, and then and the landing gear and stuff. Because I'm not sure how they go on there. There's no, I have no idea, no idea from the plans and stuff. But um, all right, let's go out here. Let's get started, man. Check that out, though. That looks like it's going to be. To me, it kind of looks like the commander. But what do I know? It's going to be pretty cool. In and Cheryl, they've been out flying. So that's good, man. Their field dried out enough so that they can get out there and they can fly, 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 fly. We'll watch them take off with this. Okay, morning, everyone. Beautiful sunny morning. Tune in, see what we're flying. Roll the intro. Good morning. Good morning. 
Oh, watch this. Right. Fantastic plane. We've been flying it for a while. Um, you know, it yeah. is just a really, really sort of like confidence inspiring design. Uh, fantastic wheels, fantastic landing gear, lovely hatch for loading the battery. I'm actually running it now for this flight on a 4S 2800. Um, you know, you, you can go bigger than that with the 4S, but um, you've got to be careful that you're allowing a little bit of air to circulate around the ESC. So people had problems when the plane first came on the scene with the bigger battery causing the planes to overheat a little bit. But um, I've never had any such problems. So I tend to run it on my, I've got a couple of 4S 2800s. And it really is a beautiful, calm day. So here we go. Yeah, sunshine. I guess this was their one day of sunshine. Gets up into the air, nice. He has a great flight. Cheryl does a great job. I thought that was unusual, though, because in the comments, see, I know, because I commented on this. And I said, what's up with all the sunshine? What happened? Huh. Maybe it was the other video. But I know I commented on this one, because that's why I got this in, my, in the thing. Oh, well. You will. And Cliff's been busy. Yeah, I just was watching this video here. He's building a Hawker Hunter. It's pretty cool. But the one I think is pretty neat is this one right here that he built. Watch a little bit of this one. Look at that build, man. That's just an amazing looking plane. The way he built that, that is just crazy. That's amazing, man. Cliff is such an excellent, excellent builder. I like how he paints and stays. 16 broken airplanes. I have the gift. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel new model time uh, so it's gonna be a quick build so about an hour ago i put on the community tab um, that i've got a model to build should i build it as intended rubber powered or should i build it uh, rc conversion and do you know what i think i'm going to build it free flight rubber powered so what is this model well let me turn you down you can have a look vmc that's vintage model company sort of triplane Fell in love with the Sockbridge triplane when I saw one flying at an air show um, down in South Devon, not far from where I live. And it didn't land, but it just flew over. And what a fantastic, beautiful machine. Very popular with the pilots of the day, apparently. And so here we go. I've got it's laser cut. It's very simple, actually. <laughs> it's all the wood with glue. Couple of bits and bobs, rubber motor, the transfer sheet you've just seen. We'll just choose a little, uh, bit. A good little um, build man. We'll stop. We'll just cheat right. It just goes into slots that uh, I've created. But just look at that. Look how he's getting it built, man, and stuff and stuff. It, it looks like a good kit. And Cliff's an expert builder. But check it out, man. He's got that build going. And then he's building this Hawker Hunter which ought to be pretty cool. That's what he's going to use the 70 millimeter EDF from his, his Habu that he, that he um, bungled in, but check him out, man. He's, he's got some great builds going. It's going to be good. Then we got Gina. And she, she had a great Tempest flight. Let me see. That's not the one I wanted. Jeez. What am I talking about? Yep, she has some great flights with the 850 pits, and, but she has having troubles with this one. We'll watch a little bit of this. It's my favorite hurricane. Oh, yes. UPW R4118, which I've sat in. My profile picture here shows me sat in this aircraft's cockpit. The real one, of course, not this tiddly little thing. Anyway, having fixed it up, 
uh, I aim to fly it a lot more. So that's what's going to happen now. Here we go, YouTube. <laughs> Here we go. And we'll watch our first attempt here. Right, left, up, down, right, left. Try to cut off. <clears throat> uh, one of that? No, I don't think any of that. They're quite effective flaps. I need to get off the ground. Boink. But not like that. <laughs> well, you have to watch her video, but she has a lot of those right there, man. Uh, she has a lot of them. A lot of them go kafump. Let's see. Let's come back out here. Let's talk. Yep. Got 16 planes to fix. I feel for you. All I got to do is adjust the elevator on my um, my my mini um, Draco. And I've got to put screws in the landing gear for the that came out of the landing gear for um, Bigfoot. Yeah. Hey Ford, how you doing, man? I mean, if it's something you like, yeah. Yeah, it could be worth having a third. I mean, I've I've bought in, I've bought in two planes, you know, before. I don't think I would, you know, like I really like Bigfoot, but would I buy another Bigfoot to keep in a box? No, you know, because there, you know, I, I haven't met a plane I haven't liked a lot, you know. <laughs> so, but not wrong with having, you know, because I've got. Technically, I have two beaches, but I haven't ordered the parts yet to fix the original beach that I had. And I will. I plan on doing it. I just haven't done it yet. Go for it. Yeah, there you go, Lori. That's good. <laughs> that's that's excellent, man. Go for it. For it. Go for it. For it. For it. For it. Go for it. We'll watch. We'll watch a little yes, bit. Yes, 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 yes. It's that Friday feeling. Finally, it is here again. Yes, it may be wet, it may be windy, but it's still that Friday feeling. Because now it means I've got a weekend full of fun. And not only that, yes, if you do Damn, celebrate you Easter, mean? especially in the UK, we had two bank holidays, which today, this is Friday, counted as one, and we also get Monday. So I've got a four-day RC Friday feeling. Ah, yes, we had the iPhone cam and also the overhead cam, just to show you what's going on in the world. Um Basically, it's not going to be any building today. No, it's more of a talk through, a run through, um, and some examples of what I've been doing. Um, so brace yourself. This is going to be a bunny old day, a funny old day. Right. So overhead cam. So yes, yes, we've got the overhead cam. So we have got the front of the fuselage. So if you remember last time we made the fuselage, I did make two the other side as well, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but it was off camera. I found. Was going to. Just want to show because. There's not that many pictures out there of this. So I'm just going to show you there. It looks pretty good. Uh, especially with these two when they go together. So which is, I think, is 3B and 3A. Just so you know how it all goes together. Um, because obviously the, it's really hard to find pictures of this. I did find a few, thanks to Cliff Harvey. He did show me. And he is an uh, expert. In fact, he's an <laughs> excellent guy. Um, right, yeah, so there we go. We've got both sides. As I say, we've got the hippo cam there. Uh, there we go, man. Follow him along, man. He's pretty cool. He, that, that's going to be a nice-looking jet, and I'm looking forward to watching him shoot it. Yeah, because that's going to be my nightmare, man. I'm going to be seeing cheating in my future here pretty soon. Then we got Bob, 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 Bob Barlow. What the heck? <laughs> oh, that looks like it's interesting there. The quad thing. Oh, but he was out flying, and we're going to look at Al's Hawker Hunter. We're going to have a go with his Fly Fly Hawker Hunter. Royal Navy colors.
Hey, Ray, how you doing, buddy? But he has, he has a great flight, I mean, he really does. And Fly Fly, I looked up Fly Fly website. Also, I could find there's like some stores that sell those Fly Fly planes in England and stuff. But they look like pretty good jets, man. They're pretty big and they're pretty, pretty pricey and stuff. But check Bob out, man. He, he's like always getting out and flying something with his buddies there. Yeah, there's his X Ain Amarichi 339. But check him out, man. He does some good stuff. And we got our good buddy Aiden. And Aiden. I don't know. When I saw this, I wasn't going to grab one of his videos. When I saw this, and he's got the nice smile working for him there, I said, man, I like Aiden. He always leaves good comments and stuff. I think this is from March, so this is this spring here, so it's it's greening up nice. He's got this motor tuned well though. I guess those guys that know how to do it, man, they make it look so easy. I know if I had a, a, a wet plane, uh, hey Rick, how you doing, man? I'd be spending all day at the field trying to get this stupid thing to run. Oh, okay. Hey, Michael, how you doing? Were you down in Kennyland? Get get Disneyland. Go to Kenny's Land. Yeah. Disney World. That's nice, man. Hey, hey, boy, if you get it, you regret it, you can always pass it on to somebody else, man. Yeah, speaking of planes, I need a plane. i got to get a plane to take to the event in case they do in the giveaway or a raffle. I don't know if they are. i got to find out. Let's fight the likes. I'm getting thirsty. It's not a very big field. He has a great flight and an excellent landing, man. I think you could always say that Aiden's going to have a great flight. Aiden's going to have a great landing. And the other mad builder, Mark Crutcher. Yeah, 34. Ah, yeah, you went to the headquarters. Yeah, good deal. Yeah, that should, man. I'm sure. I'm sure this metal building has got it pretty much packed to the rafters. <laughs> but you know, I mean, hey, it's it's Kenny's Kenny's deal. You know, it's good. I wouldn't mind visiting Kenny. All right, let's go. We're going to look at the field. He's got all kinds of builds going. But they got this going out here at the field. I think that's amazing. It's funny. See how fast the turbines are moving. Yeah, Mark says the, the weather's been a little sloppy. They still don't drop a lot. I think this is Eric, one of his one of his foam board planes that he made. Watch him take off. The Spitfire here. I know it's a hundred. Go ahead, man. See how it goes. Just kidding. Just kidding. It does well. They have a good. It's a good video, man. It's a. They have great landings. I didn't see a bad landing, and uh, 
Yeah, there's the planes that Eric brought. And I think Mark flew, I don't know, somebody flew something else. But there they go, man. They got a lot of cool planes. They're out there having a good time. <laughs> hey, RC plane. <laughs> hey, you never know, man. That's how I ended up with two carbon Z codes, man. I can't. I crashed it, came home all mad, and ordered one up, and then was able to fix the other one before the other one got here. So I ended up with two of them. So, all right, what we got here is kind of neat, man. We got Jeff. He got. He did this subscriber thing. Hey guys, welcome back to the bench. So we haven't had one of these for a long time. So we've got a. Uh, an unboxing, a bit of a special unboxing. But we'll go over here and we'll show you what he's got. Somebody is um, his so, use one of his users and probably he's holding camera moves this over. I'm gonna take my time to all these I'm rush. missiles for him. Oh, so this cool, will man. lead into uh, some other plans I've got. So let's just lay some of this out. Looking at this. He lays them out and he talks about them and stuff. I think we can make really, really good, a good job, use. man. Made all the Camaros. <laughs> so you know what I'm talking about, huh, Chris? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Now, see, I don't know. I mean, I don't do that anymore, man. I just did that. Oh, because, oh. You know, like, if, if I'm out to do something, if I'm really out to do something, man, and I have problems, I mean, it's like, you know, you knock me down, I'm getting right back up, you know. I, hey, Travis, how you doing, man? It's like when I learned to windsurf, you know, I don't know how many times I fell. I don't know. I think I went out there for like three days straight and just did nothing but hop up, fall off, hop up, fall off. Then I realized you need wind. <laughs> and then I got it. But, you know, it's like. It's like, I think I was the scabbiest kid that ever learned to ride a bike, you know. <laughs> but, you know, you just got to be tenacious, man. Got to be tenacious. Speaking of tenacious, man, we got Jeff here. He's out there flying in the Isle of Wight, and he's doing a good job. He's having fun. He's got the tenacity. But he was out there practicing, and we'll watch a little Z bit. The flight commander, all ready to go. Prop secured. Throttle cut off. See, that looks like Wind. the Riley. That Riley beat sort of out of see, there. The tide so looks a bit of a crosswind good. landing. In the video, you can I'll stop and get some better landings on this one today. You see, it's low tide. So we're the. That's one of the funnest flying planes, man. That thing is fun to fly. Because my wheel skirts were not holding up in the grass, and I liked how it looked with them. So, there you can see the low tide. Ah, oh, jeez. YouTube has changed. They don't. It's no longer live streaming. We don't want to see the plane. We want to see the tide. No, I'm just kidding. There we go. There you can see the tides out. Either that or somebody pulled the plug on the English Channel. But just a lovely day to fly there. Jeff has a good flight too. He's dodging dogs. People talking. Stop. People are stopping and talking with him and stuff. And he's having a good time. Here we go. We got Adam prop gear. Oh, yeah, the commander just it flies great, man. It flies like a like a Spitfire. It just flies great. So we got prop gear. He lives in over there in the UK too. And he's does some crazy stuff, man. We had this this is a good video here. This is the one I wanted to show you. Where he's at a beach flying. In fact, we'll take a we'll take a quick gander at it too. He's gonna do an unboxing. I am at one of the uh, one of my favorite spots. 
You don't tell you where the wind is. Being cool. Right now, boy. F16, baby. But just look how beautiful it is there, man. That is just beautiful. There in the UK. It's not even very windy. And this Will, Coy, Will Toys XK is a pretty fun jet. He flies this thing for like 10 minutes on one battery. Catches it, and it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool what he does with it and stuff. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Doc, got it, man. I wanted to show you. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Let's see. Yeah. What I won't do for you guys, I'll go out here. Oh, yeah, great, great, yeah, great. I figured that's how it would be. I accidentally deleted some of my, one of my subs, too. I feel bad about it. I'm going to get them back. This is the one I wanted to show you right here. This is it. What the heck is this? <laughs> I'll tell you what the heck this is. <laughs> this is a Roby. A Roby B E E. Something like that. Hang glider. From the late 90s. <laughs> and it's been brought into the future. Oh, that's his by going thing. brushless. And oh and it's had a it's got a different servo in it. That's where the servo is. All it's got is left and right. Give us a little left and right, car. You can't even see anything. Yeah, here we go. Look, see the servo moving there? Bends the thing left or right. And then obviously your throttle is your up and down. It's only two channel. A bit of throttle, Kai. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Nice. Ah. Whoop. Ah. Whoop. Don't know, man. Ah. Probably when I crashed it, knocked it out of... Um... <laughs> yeah, I had the... Uh, I had the um the uh, controls reversed when i tried to fly this and it broke i broke one of them supporty things um might be where i'm holding it it might need a clip in together still might, a little thing might have come out of clip oh, no. but oh my god it looks like it's gonna work but and it kind of <laughs> worked when i tried it on my own but because i had the, i didn't it, i had things reversed and it quickly went bosh and uh took a bit of damage i'm well gutted so yeah, hopefully today is a bit better. It's a little bit of breeze. It's only good for about up to about eight, ten mile an hour wind. Watching, apparently. They're gonna fly here. There's so not many vids online. Cool. There's not many of these. Yeah, sure, everything. You hold it over there. There's Adam there. Needs clicking in. Oh yeah, just pointing that. For the old battery in it. Guys, it's all stuffed in there. Twenty-two hundred free cell receivers in there. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, it's probably for the best. Yeah. Turning all right? Kind of. Kind of. Oh, what the hell? Try and find <laughs> your sweet frog. <laughs> they have a great flight, and the banner's pretty funny, man. Oh, man. Yeah, crazy plane talk, man. You got to buy crank. But that's pretty good there, man. It's entertaining as you guys all get out. We'll close, I got to close it up here. But then we're back to Philip. But I just had to make sure I put that up there because it's pretty good. They talk about the plane some more. And um, it's, it's pretty funny, man. I think it's funny anyway. But Philip. Philip made his first flight of the year, so we'll go out and see what that was like. And welcome to the Philip Cockrum channel viewers. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. It helps this channel grow and it helps me bring you these great videos that we Terry. all love. Yeah, so we're back. This is the first flight of 2024 for me. Everything that you've seen up to this point is from uh, yeah, last year's videos. Cool you can tell by the shape of the field and the grass and stuff here. So it's... um. Uh, a little windy and a little cold there today it's only like 37 degrees but um not too bad so let's go Ooh. 
feels pretty good so far. Yeah, outside of the simulator and the some you. Yep, Philip has a great flight. He tells you about his this black Mustang that he bought and everything. Gives you an update on that. And let's go back here. Hey, Duan, how you doing, man? Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna fly this weekend too. It's supposed to be nice. We need to do some work at the field, but I haven't contacted everybody. But for it's, does the sea weight add weight to the lipo? It can. Because usually you get a higher C rating by having thicker wires for the um, juice to travel through. The you know the battery you know and then all the wire you know internal wiring is thicker. You know the leads are usually thicker going to the ESC, and that's how they get a higher C rating. And they're usually you know you check the grams if they list the grams of the battery if they're accurate, you know. But, you know, like a 100C battery, you know, a, like say a 4-cell 2200-100C and a 4-cell 2230C, um, the 100-cell should be heavier than the 30-cell. Um, but that's why I don't usually buy, you know, like 100C batteries or anything like that stuff. Foot of snow? Wow, we. That is weird, man. Yeah, I don't know. It was it was like 40 degrees this morning, and um, I checked the temperature around 10, and it was like 50 some, you know. Because I, I went out went out on the back porch, walked around Tuco a little bit, you know, because it didn't look windy, and then like all of a sudden the wind just. I thought maybe I messed up, man. I should have been flying, but um, yeah. And, there, and there's there's a lot of debate on C numbers being accurate, but I, I don't know. I fly most of my jets. I fly on 30 C batteries. You know, my batteries don't come down hot. They go plenty fast and stuff like that. You know, but it varies. It varies. You know, I mean, it varies on manufacturer of the batteries and stuff. You know, so it's just, but I've no, I was trying to think of, I don't really, I don't have any 100C batteries or big C batteries. I mean, I might have some 60Cs and 50Cs, and I just know between a, a 30C and a 60C, it's heavier. How much heavier? I don't know, but it's heavier. And I don't like weight. I, I like, you know, I keep my planes, I like the mass to be controllable and as low as I can get it. Hey, Commander Goggle, how you doing, buddy? I saw your I stream last that. night. I, I stopped in for a second or two, but I didn't comment. And you, you had some kind of movie running, and I couldn't see what you were printing, but I was only on for a second. Uh, but, man, Lee got this nice-looking soft, soft with Dove. Man, it is a cool-looking plane. For it, I don't know. My run cam, it seems to be turning off all the time. Um, I'd have to look at mine. I'll save it past 10 seconds this time. Wait. Nah, they're up in, they're up in Maine. Yeah, I think we're doing good. I'm going to keep this in my pocket. There we go. Phone's in my pocket using the run cam. Everything seems good. Watch him take off. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a nice takeoff there, man. But yeah, that is a cool looking plane, Litz. It really is. I figured I'd get a video of it, you know, while he's while he's still there, man. Yeah, I think it, it was wind. He said wind, wind caused, which it could, you know. And stuff it's pretty cool but i like lee man lee has a lot of, lee does lee flies a lot he flies when it's windy he flies when it's cold he flies when it's snowing there it is with the, on the snow it's just a sharp looking biplane man i 
I got about the only way about the only way you you can you know really tell is just by going to the different battery sites. Like I like Lipinir batteries, and I'll compare the the weight of a Lipinir to like an HRB, you know, and then. Um, your smart batteries, they're usually a, light, a little lighter than the other batteries, but they cut, you know, you can buy usually two batteries for one smart battery. So I don't buy smart batteries. But, you know, you, I just look at the grams. You know, like if I'm buying a 4,000 um, success battery, and it doesn't really matter because, you know, the plane, the jets that I fly in, the planes can handle it and stuff, you know, but I'm just, you know, I think I've got one hundred C battery. I do. I have one, one, but I only have one fifteen hundred hundred C battery. But it's heavier. It's pretty heavy. But it, it flies in the planes I fly the thirteen hundred four cell in, so I don't worry about it. You know, it's just, uh, you know, you just got to be aware of it that, you know, and, then, and then people. People think that if they have a 100C battery, their plane's going to go faster. You know, it may be a little quicker, but it, you, you're just, it, it's, you still got the same amps and amps and wattage that you're, you're pushing through to the motor. It's just that with a higher C rating, you get, you can get more quicker to the motor, you know, but, you know, it still doesn't limit the power that you're getting. It's just that you, you get it faster, you know, with a bigger, you know, the bigger throwaway of the C rating. But you now there's there's that off offset of weight too that you gotta mess with and stuff. But and then plus you don't know, you know, like they rate batteries, they're they're usually they overrate them, they underrate them, they they're not truthful. It's not a it's not a good accurate way to know what the actual C rating of a battery is. And all right, so I got I to gotta kill this one pretty quick. Boom. Because he has music in this video. But this is cool, man. This is the flight flight test Spitfire that he made, and he's going to maiden it. It looks pretty nice, I think. He didn't use a canopy because he put his camera in there. Yeah, some batteries have that. I think the guys at the beach, man, we had, we, we all are always argued about that. And I think we had like three different batteries of different C ratings or burst ratings or whatever. And we put them in one plane and the, and the guy couldn't tell us which plane, you know, which flight had the higher C rated battery in it or not, you know? So, Hey Ray, how you doing, man? Ray knows more about the C ratings, but I don't know. I think it's a waste of money to get a 100C battery, but that's just me. You get more weight. Some planes need mass, but he has a great flight, man. He really does. He has a great flight with the flight tests, and he does a really good job on his videos. They have a lot, lots of, lots of um, stuff. Hey, Chris, how you doing, Jackson RC? How you doing, sir? And he did took his DJI up again. He's got the three. But I like how he flies it though. He usually he shows you all the telemetry stuff so you can see how high he is, how far out he's flying and stuff. It's pretty cool. And his music's good. He has a good taste in music. It kicks back in. Is it three hundred and 379 feet and stuff. Tyler, how you doing, man? How you doing, Tyler? Chris Miller, RC. Talk Chris Miller. <laughs> Miller, RC, Tyler. <laughs> I'm, 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 I threw myself off here. I threw myself off. I messed up. I was looking at the clock and looking at this and looking at that. But... Um, Yep, Shay's been out. Shay and Ashley have been out flying. This is a sad video if you haven't seen this, man. 
the crash of his F-14 Tomcat. That is just sad. But what we're here to see is this. Back to Hamilton's hangar. I'm Che. We got Ashley on the camera. Welcome back. Dynamic Duo back again with another video, guys. Today, we got the 70 millimeter E-Flight Viper. I've never flown a Viper. I'm super duper excited here. Um, I know what I mean. Uh, probably about, what, 8, 10 miles an hour. You would know better than I. Yeah. I don't know. We had a cross here, so. But it's better. We're watching take off. Favorite part. All right. Kenny, how you doing, man? Love the jets. No flash. Yeah, I, don't, I don't have a, I don't have an annoying scroll going fast on the bottom of my screen. All right, SMC forty four hundred. Another maiden here. Hopefully, gonna go Still down. Still scrolls. Flight checks are good. Scrolls. Left, right. Annoying. Left, right. All right. What do you think, babe? Man, I heard I heard your right. property values went down All the day right, that you flew here. <laughs> Uh, this is a, actually like a, you know, a fan favorite here, guys. You know what I mean? The original 70 millimeter uh, Viper. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Should be pretty awesome. All right. Watch Let's take do off. it. Three minute flight here. Going off timer. Let's do it. Check out Shay and Ashley, though, man. Oh, yeah. Man, still alive. That burner that he's got in there, man. That thing is. Right, that thing is bright. They have a good time. And then we got John V A H R C V H R C. What are we here to see, John? We're here to see the maiden of it. this. Is pretty cool. He has a good maiden. He likes the skill, out of the box power. He's got the out of the box setup in it. He likes it. I'll leave. All right, guys. Move. Here we go. It's maiden time for the Corsair. Got a little break in the weather right after work, so we're gonna give it a shot. All right, here we go, guys. Corsair on the maid, on the maiden today. Yeah, I miss the GB Linden live streams of John. Looking at this fireball. <laughs> You're up. You're kidding me. <laughs> he has a great maiden, man. Some great landings and stuff. And uh, he brings it in there and stuff. And he has he has a good time. And he's flying at stock. Uh I said, I said uh, it looks like the stock setup has plenty of power for scale flying. And he's like, yeah, thank you. I agree. You know, but whatever, you know. Well, so most people, that's all they do is they, they complain about it more than they fly it. What we got for it? What are we saying here? Where, there it is right there. There we go. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, hey, Fred. You know, if you if you you know, like use one of their plastic bags to put it in. I, I you know, you know, it wouldn't hurt to ask. They, I'd rather ask, but I doubt if they would. You know, you might get some Karen giving you track, giving you some, giving you some stuff, but. Um, all right, so Travis and John have been messing around with the Sky ID, doing speed tests and altitude and stuff, just playing with it, having fun. Yeah, right, his music's just too loud, man. It's just too loud. Sound like that Back to the Futures guy. It's just too darn loud. Hey. Mountain RC. Guys, we're getting ready to take up the free wing mirage, getting ready to do a speed run, guys, because if you watch my previous videos, y'all know I got the uh, Sky ID finally. Yep, 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 guys, looky, looky. All the information, let's go ahead and reset it. GPS you just got to hit the back button and it resets everything for you guys. Yep, yep, yep. GPS speed zero. All right, guys. I still think that having all that stuff would be kind of neat. Get this thing up and uh, 
see what kind of speed we so get. It, it, it doesn't transmit the, the data constant. It's like every every two to three seconds. Running a four thousand CNHL battery, guys. We'll watch him go ahead and do a speed run off the bat. Wow. Yeah, hundred fourteen dollars, say guys. <laughs> hundred fourteen. That's pretty cool, though, man. And then when he lands, he shows you. He shows you what he's got. And when he lands, he shows you what he's got. Maximum altitude we did he flew to was three hundred eighty-five. So I mean, it's kind of neat, you know. It's not the end of the world. That's pretty good. And we got G's, man. G's RC. Yeah, I've got, that's what I bought a scale, Lori. Yeah. That's what I bought. Was this, well, we bought it for, for bacon stuff, but I got it for bacon. <laughs> Whose videos we got here? We got OGs. Okay, so let's see. Let's go down here. And this is kind of sad where he crashes the FlyFans L39. His ESC overheated and it crashed. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying well, how, why that crashed, but if you want to see it crash, he's got a pretty good video of it. But we're watch this one. He comes in with some pretty good music, man. In fact, he's got music all the way out to right here. What up, YouTube? It's your boy OG's RC. I'm back out here. I got the Banana Hobbies SU27.50 millimeter. It's a nice looking plane, but for nice two something. Plane, digital camo. I don't know. Um, the Ukraine version. I'm going to hand toss it. It's very windy. Um, I got some good grass, so hopefully this goes good. It's got a yeah, good arm. Had a man, I'll say that. Crazy crash on the L39 for fly fans, so hopefully this is a good maiden. You already snow. Hey, Ray, they have a good time out there, man. He's got his kids with him and stuff. The end of the video is cute when the kids are out there talking to dad and stuff. They always seem to have a good time. <laughs> They're excited. <laughs> oh, he has a good flight, though, but it's pretty good, man, when he brings it in and stuff. He lands it. They go out there. The kids are out there with him and stuff. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty neat, man. Hey, have a good time. Hey, Mark, how you doing, man? Glad to have you on here. Let's see if we can make you blue. Make you blue. Ah, right, you're blue now. And we got Lewis, I can't fly stitches, man. He was out there at the Tampa, somewhere in Tampa air show. And stuff, man. He got some great videos, man. It's just amazing. His Thunderbirds is all these videos. He did a really good job of getting these videos. He really did. But we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch a little bit of this one right here. <laughs> He said he came over, he went through it. He said he came through it. Never seen one of those fly versions. It's been a while. Yeah. Jack Northrup was a visionary, and this bomber that we're about to see in the development of the new B-21 Raiders represents the efforts 
of Jack Murphy's work and philosophy. We are going to have a chance, ladies and gentlemen, our team just one pass. Well, I wouldn't spend it too much. We don't want to do a spike. We don't do that. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, the Eric from the U.S. Air Force Global Strike Command, I bring it to you in the Northrop. B2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. I can't hear it. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the That's pretty cool. You can't hear it. You can't hear it. You can't hear it. He does a couple of flybys for him all and stuff, but you know, check out Lewis's videos, man. He's got he's got a lot of good ones from the air show. I like his F. He, he did a good job in the F-16s. And the C-17 is pretty amazing and stuff. And it, it's a good one, man. And then the, um, the, the Super Hornets, that, that was a good demo, too. But Lewis did a good job, man. I think he was out there with Tony. He sounded like Tony anyway, listening to him talk. Philip, how you doing, man? We got Tug Hill RC. The worm has turned. The snow is gone. And he's got some great stuff going out. And you can watch his, his the flight of the um, Draco. It kind of it kind of it, it whacks in there a little bit, but he has a great flight. He just hit. He just landed hard and rough stuff. That that ground is as rough is so rough. I'm surprised he didn't rip it off right to start with. And then we got another intro. Tug Hill RC here, going to be taking up my turbo timber today, Evolution. Uh, we're at a brand new field, and I'm going to try to take it off on rough ground. We're going to try it anyway. Snow, what are you doing? Hey, that's the kind of snow we like. It's just that kind of snow. Lewis, we just showed you. Not a problem. You got some amazing videos, man. Was that Tony with you at the air show? It sounded like Tony the one time I heard him talk amongst everybody else. Tug has a great flight. Here you can see the river. He has a great flight, though. There in the frozen tundra of New York. Whew, man, I need some water. I need more water. Snitches. Hey, when you're taking off a rough ground, man, it it it, it can make you go. You think you're going straight, and then like uh, half a breath later, man, it shoots off to the left, then shoots off to the right just as fast and it's it's hard, man. That's that's how the park is, man. That the park, you, you know, you, you got the right rudder on, man, and it'll still take off, and shoot left. What we got here, man, is these guys, Oscar and and Ricky, got their gliders out. This is Ricky tossing off. Nice toss. The wild bunch of Douglas, Arizona, Municipal Airfield. Dime 
Thunder, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah the Turbo Timber is, is powerful. Boom. Did they actually get up and fly together? I thought they were going to hit each other there a few times. But it's a good video, man. You need to check that out. I, I like Oscar. I like the, the crew that Ricky flies with there, Oscar and the other guys. It's pretty good. And we got Wayne, man. He's up there in the frozen tundra of Minnesota, northwest Minnesota. In fact, he, he can he, he can look out his bedroom window and he can almost see um, see Mount Rushmore. He's that far up north. No, I'm just kidding. He's got the new RV8 from Flex Innovations in the faster dark dark blue. That's a great flight. Okay. Got observe a win. I suppose it's about 10 miles an hour, pretty much straight down the runway. Okay. That's nice, Mark. That's a nice plane. I have the Consendo Advance. I like it. Okay, Kong, get it up. Yeah, Terry, I thought about getting one. one but I got the Carbon Z Cub, so I'm happy. Flying. He has a great flight, man. And he, he, he lands using Crow, and Wayne has a lot of great landings and stuff, and it's, it's pretty good, man. It's a good video. He does some nice flying, and it is good. The Sky, yeah, those Sky Surfers, yeah, those. Like the Bixler and stuff like that. Yeah, Ray, those, those are good. Those might even be better than the, they're cheaper than than, than the um, Aero Scout. In fact, I took a list of planes to work. Yep. Yeah, I mean, shoot. Yeah, that's a good plane to learn on, a good plane to fly on. And it's fun. They're fun to fly. Yeah, let's see. We'll watch a little bit of this. That's a nice looking F-22. And he's got a good arm, too. I'm so jealous of all these people that can really throw a plane. So I stink. What'd you toss up, Kenny? Let me go over here to my grab it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, hundred and ten grams plus or minus. There's your weight. That's a twenty-five C. We got this guy, man. Ray usually comes on late. Late on Wednesdays. But he, Ray can fly. He'll go out and fly anytime, man. That's, that's something he'll do. Is, when he goes out and does his live stream at the field, you can see exactly what he's doing and stuff. And then the video I put in there is this flight right here with his old F5 that has been retired. And... He's got his buddy there. For the ship? Yeah. We'll go out here. We'll go out here. We'll get this. Okay. I said okay. <laughs> always conflicts. Always con Always distractions when Marie tries to fly. Whether it's kids. And this one, he has food coming. He has a great flight, though, man. You get some nice shots of the afterburner coming in and stuff. 
he's got this thing souped up pretty well. It zooms pretty fast. It's pretty quick. And he, at the end, he gets interrupted when his when their mill comes. <laughs> yeah, I was bickering to the kid. I thought it was kind of funny. They were they were teasing you about your plane not being fast, man. Uh, I was gonna say that that looks pretty like a pretty quick F one, the one hundred five to me. I know you always jack them up with. Um, I think this one you said you put a um, X fly yeah, an X X fly twenty two hundred kV in runner. So yeah, I'm sure that little light F F five was probably like going mock mock. Oh my goodness, RC. I'm sure of that. Let's take a little bit. Exactly, Kenny. Let's see. What would I what did I have of his, man? Why did I have his video up? I can't believe that, man. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I can't I don't even know what I've had. Oh yeah, I know what I got. I know what I got. Yeah, I remember now. I remember we gotta go in the way back machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was gonna show. We're going in the way back machine when he was flying a JCB sixty seven. I think it was this one right here. He's fine with uh, JCB 6713. There he is. And they make the... Huh. That, that always cracks me up how they make the FPV or the quad guys have to go sit in the corner. <laughs> I think we had a field somewhere where they wanted that to happen, man. I was like, huh? And he's doing it because there's not too many people out there and stuff. But they can see you can see Jim flying by. I suppose that way the helicopter guy's got a place to fly. But it's just, yeah, I think I did pass it. Oh, well. Well, one of those videos, he's out there. He's, I think that was the video when Jim Jim comes there later. But it's out there. You can see it, man. It's pretty cool. He does some good stuff. We've seen him do a lot of crazy stuff, like flying flying his um, the quad in, in the, in the um, library. That's a good video. So check it out. And then here on Roger's Aviation Channel, he did a, he made it. He had a GWS that he took all the glow off. This is pretty good flying in the wind with that little light three channel plane. I bet you thought he was going in the trees. This is Kenny's son flying this plane. And well, I don't want to run all of his video, but you can see right there. Yep, there's his son flying it. He's doing a good job. Kenny out there helping him out and stuff. But, you know, check out Roger's RC. He, he always makes some crazy planes that fly really well and some that don't fly so well.
but check him out. That's a good job. And then we got Marcus, Captain Hardway. Let me see, what did I put him in here for? Yeah, just like. Yeah, they're they're in the um they're in the description. All the all these videos are in the description and stuff. And let's see, what did I watch? Nine hours ago? No. Yeah, I watched this one right here. This is the one I watched. He's out there in California somewhere. That's kind of neat, though, seeing where people fly and stuff. He has some nice flights. He's doing good, man. This is the guy that we used to watch crash everything he flew. He would crash. What do we got going on here? <laughs> oh, we got EQ doing crazy stuff, man. Oh, that's just weird, man. That is just weird. There we go. It was doing stuff, man. And we got this. I forget who got him that he was had. Kenny got him that or somebody got him. Fragile stickers all over Federal Express. Took a little while to deliver it, but I don't see any kind of dentions or nothing. Whoever, box. whoever sent this to him did an excellent pack job. So we're going to open. We're going to go. We're just going to jump out here. But you, it's fun. It's cool how he unboxes it. But it's kind of neat, man. The Petticoat Junction um, water tank. E chain loop that you put the chain on with. Maybe That's kind of neat. And, he, and Eric goes through and details and tells you how, how it goes together and stuff. It's pretty good, man. It's kind of entertaining. But uh, Jeannie Riley, a.k.a. Betty Jo Bradley, and then Betty Jo, splash, splash, splash. You know, that's what I put in there and stuff for that. But I don't know. I thought that was pretty good. But I'm surprised that, that guy did such a great job packing it, man. That's the only reason why that thing looked pretty fragile to be mailing through the mail. Really, 90% fly helicopters. Yeah, some some of our fields they'll fly helis too, but not not too many. We have a mule. He used to belong to our club, and he 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 wins. He wins. All kinds of AMA scale scale contests and stuff. I don't know if he still enters contests or not, but um, he used to. And he still, I talked to him at our uh, meet and greet, and he still doesn't have a 3D printer. He still makes all of his parts by by hand. He showed me some stuff on his on his um, helicopter. It, it was made of cardboard that he paints and stuff. <laughs> I said, that's, I goes, that's cardboard. He said, yeah, I made it out of cardboard. <laughs> I thought, oh, my goodness. You can never tell it. I didn't know it was made out of cardboard, man. It looked like it was made out of some kind of super, super duper goopilopolis stuff. But um, I don't know, man. I haven't had a chance to look at anything for sale. I'm trying not to spend any money on RC stuff. Uh, well, storage problems. Storage is where you have the problem. Buying planes, yeah, yeah, you got that too. But you know, you gotta have a place to put them. The key is always get rid of the boxes as fast as possible. Well, I hope you guys can get out and fly. Hope I can get out and fly. Uh, tomorrow is supposed to be kind of windy, but it's supposed to be from the northwest, so that probably means it'll be west. 
And I think I'm just going to wait and go out Saturday, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm getting kind of cabin fever been sticking in here. Um, like next Monday, it's supposed to be cloudy for the eclipse. So we got that going for us and stuff. But I guess it could be snowing. You got people getting snow and stuff. Good grief. I couldn't imagine that. Our hummingbirds are starting to come back. So spring is spring is sprung and stuff. But um, I just hope everybody can get out and fly. Kate, Steph, Marsha, Gracie, if you're watching, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Snow. I'm glad you came by. RC playing. I'm not going to go through and name everybody for it, you know, and Ray, Lewis, Kenny, Commander Goggle. I don't know you, you and Jim. You know Jim, so that's pretty good, man. Jim seems like a good guy. You seem like you guys. Everybody seems like it's good. But, but um, yep, yeah, we'll see y'all. Uh, Motion RC is going live tomorrow if you're into that. But um, be safe, have fun, go flying, be happy. This is Jeff saying.